Manufacturing in any country is very key because it is in manufacturing that most of the economies are able to grow. And this is not different with Kenya. And His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta made it intentional by putting it under the Big Four agenda. Now, one of the key things that His Excellency has been able to do to ensure that the manufacturing sector is growing is to revive factories that had become redundant. Some of them being Rivertex, KCC, Kenya Meat Commission, among others. At Rivertex currently, which was a textile factory, 1,000 jobs have been created directly. And many other jobs have been directly impacted by this opening and revival of Rivertex, indirectly, which includes farmers, generis, best to mention but a few. The modernization of the Kenya Cooperative Creameries, now known as New KCC, has also been very instrumental in ensuring that a lot has happened. In what way? 2,000 jobs have been created by the modernization of these particular factories. And 80,000 farmers are now being able to benefit because they access the cooperative to be able to sell their milk. Indirectly, many more have been affected and are making an income just because the factory is now up and running. We have the NYS Textile Center. The NYS Textile Center now employs 400 youth who have been tasked with the task of making garments for various disciplined forces. And of course, we cannot forget that they were very instrumental in the manufacturing and making of masks during the COVID pandemic. In lieu of noting that the young people needed support, His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta designed platforms that the young people could be able to get onto to push them into the manufacturing sector. One of these such platforms is the Kenya Industrial Research Development Institute, better known as KERDI. The institute is now currently incubating 300 SMEs, mostly run by the young people in the country. Additionally, 1.2 billion shillings has been disbursed to the constituency development centers similar to what KERD is hosting so as to ensure that SMEs are also grown right from the grassroots. Ensuring that a conducive environment is up and running at the EPZ zones has ensured that young people have been able to get jobs. He hasn't stopped there, His Excellency has also gone on to do incentives and to give out incentives also to manufacturers so that they can be able to employ more young people and also train young people to be able to get into the market. The other thing that His Excellency has been able to do and has been intentional about in his administration is the partnership between the government and the private sector. And this has been able to come up with policies that ensure the manufacturing sector is able to blossom, able to provide job opportunities, and also able to improve and invite investors to come and invest in the country. I am sure that you have seen His Excellency going by his mantra of buy Kenya, build Kenya, by wearing shirts that have been locally made in one of the factories that he has been keen in reviving. For manufacturing to grow, for manufacturing to spar, for manufacturing to take over in this country as a key sector, you and I have to partake of it. So I encourage you to buy Kenya and build Kenya. <laughs>